Hey guys, Chris here. Today, I just got uh, got the keys to the 2017 Ford F-250 Super Duty King Ranch Edition. And as you can hear, it's got the 6.7 liter power stroke turbo diesel. This thing is an absolute monster. What a truck. Oh yeah. <laughs> and this isn't even the big one. There's a long bed too. But that said, this thing is huge. Tons of space inside. I mean, you could practically live in here. Let's take it for a drive. I've literally only just gotten into this thing about, about 20 minutes ago. So I don't really, I don't know anything about it. I just, uh, I just know that it's pretty awesome. So Chris Osberg had it for the week and uh, he did a POV review on it, which you'll have to check out on the Windy Road channel. But since I just got it, I wanted to give you some first impressions here. It's so fast. It doesn't feel that fast because you're so high up and the speed just isn't as big of a deal when you have such a high driving position. I mean, that's really the first thing you notice is just how, t how much taller you are than other SUVs and other cars on the road. You can just see over everything, it's great. But the, you, you watch the speedometer climb and the torque this thing has is just, it's unreal you feel invincible, like you could just haul or climb or go over anything, it's great. Rides a little bit stiff. It's gotta have some stiff suspension to have all that towing capacity. And it corners surprisingly flat. I'm actually pretty amazed at how how well it handles. Brakes are good. It's surprising for as big of a vehicle it is, it's surprisingly easy to drive, which is which is a very welcome thing. Because when you first get into something like this, it can be kind of intimidating. I know with me after I'm used to driving little tiny sports cars and, and I haven't been in a truck this big and it's been about a year I think and it took a little bit of getting used to it's fun though I've, I've excuse me I've missed it all right let's test some handling here we've got a left-hander see it's not bad <laughs> beast sixth gear 70 miles an hour about 1700 rpm just cruising along it looks like Chris has been getting about 14 or 15 miles to the gallon in this truck all week and I know Chris he has a heavy foot We didn't get a chance to tow anything, but just knowing that it could is probably good enough. Actually, you know what, my bad, I'm gonna to take a left here. Just kidding. Brake pedal is nice and firm, gives you a lot of confidence. You have this huge panoramic sunroof. Pretty decent visibility.
cool. Yeah, and like I said, you can see over minivans. It's awesome. <laughs> I pulled up earlier next to a regular F-150 and it looked just, it looked minuscule in comparison. It's hilarious. Let's get a little bit of uh, exhaust noise under this bridge. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, before trucks used to handle like trucks, and now trucks, they handle, they still handle like trucks, but they handle really well for trucks. I mean, that's, I took that entrance ramp at 50 miles an hour. That's really pretty impressive. And when you're in, like I said earlier, when you're in here, it doesn't feel that fast because you're so high up. But once you get going, this thing really, it, it's, it's fast, it's quick, it hauls. I'm not sure I could get a for, uh, approval from Ford to do a track day in their F250 Super Duty, but... <laughs> oh man, this this is awesome. Once you get on the highway, comfortable. Visibility is just immense. Yeah, this is fun. If I were to get a truck, I would probably get an F-150. These uh, these are just so well dialed in. I love the new aluminum chassis on this platform. It's Ford has really done a good job. Uh, there's a lot of connectivity, a lot of tech. They drive incredibly well. They feel very refined. They're comfortable. I think they the design is excellent. They look beautiful. Well, I'm not sure beautiful is the right word to use, but they look awesome. Really well styled very modern but also uh, it's just a it's just a cool looking design let's take a right and we'll we'll park wrap things up a little bit see if there's a Monroney in here I don't think there is. but I'll see if I can pull up some specs on this particular truck. <laughs> see how well it can make this turn. Eh, we can squeeze through there without hitting the curb. Turning circle test here on this cul-de-sac. What a thing. We have, we have an entire sticker here. Fuel ratings not required on this vehicle. Darn right. <laughs> All right, so we'll start off. Total MSRP on this truck is 76,725 uh, bucks. The starting price is 57,455 with about 18 grand worth of options. Options are, we have ruby red metallic for 395, the diesel, the 6.7 liter Power Stroke V8 diesel for 8595, off-road package, FX4 package, chrome package, aluminum 
20 inch wheels for 1240 King Ranch Ultimate Package, which includes the power running board, power moonroof, twin panel, quad beam headlamps, Bliss, tailgate step, and monochrome paint pack. Cool. Lots of good stuff in here. I'm not quite positive on horsepower and torque figures. I just know that it's a lot. Torque is around the 900 mark, I believe. Um, I've never been a big one on specs, but I know this has a big number. You can probably Google that if you really want to know specifics. Or if you know the torque, just write it in the comments. A lot of storage. Got basically just full of fuel receipts. <laughs> yes. All right, guys. Well, I've got the King Ranch for another day. Let me know if you have any questions. Stay tuned on the Winding Road channel for Chris Osberg's review. I'm sure he's put something together exciting for all of us. That should be up in the next week or two. And, um, yeah, this thing's pretty awesome. I saw it when, it when they launched it at the Detroit Auto Show this year. And I was like, yeah, that's going to be a fun truck. We'll have to get one of those in. On Wednesday, they're swapping this out. Ford is swapping this out with us with a Raptor. Um, and we're going to be testing that on the street. We might take it out to the sand dunes. We might do a few, a few fun things with that. Um, so stay tuned for some Raptor footage early or mid middle of this week uh, as well. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.